One of these dogs, uh, I got to name. I named her Carol King. You know, it's hard. She's got an eye problem. She's got hot spots. She's, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like we're here. here. Hello, you gotta be okay, in her eyes. She just I can tell you right now, but I'm, I'm committing to you right now. I haven't committed to anyone else, but you're coming with us. Not she just needs a little bit of attention. Right then and there, Badass and Soaps decided to pull Carol King from the shelter. She never had to go back, and instead she went on her freedom ride! There is nothing better than coming out oh, of the shelter yeah. with this dog. Oh, I'm so proud for you. Honey, you never have to go back there again. You're safe. Not too long, they'll be coming to Brooklyn. Brooklyn bound soon. That's right. I believe that you know there are there are you know some some people down here that um, that do look at dogs as yard ornaments or, or protection, and uh, they're they're chained. They're they're very seldom you know watered and fed like they should be. Definitely no vet care. After many months of being in New York City, she is still in foster care. She has not yet been adopted. Carol, you're a New York City pup. And while it's a priority to help Carol find her perfect forever home, it's also a priority to do so quickly. Because the more time she spends in foster care, she's taking up the spot of another potential rescue dog in need of a foster home. Last we met, your eyes were messed up and you had fleas all over and then you got the fleas all over me. Yes. Yes, you did. This leads me to ask the question of where are these stray animals found that end up in these shelters? Here's Ruby. Ruby had been living at the shelter for three years when we pulled her that day. We brought her to the vet afterwards and found that there were over two dozen BB gun pellets embedded in her body. I don't want to ask the question of where they came from because sometimes the answer is just too inhumane to fully grasp or understand. Ruby has since been adopted by someone in Brooklyn and she's living a happy, healthy life. Three years and you're free, girl. You're free. But back to the terrifying question of where do these stray animals come from? They're found in abandoned houses. They're found in cardboard boxes on the side of the road. It is so difficult for me to grasp this concept. And so I talked to April, the manager of one of the animal care centers in Georgia. Most of the dogs that get dumped like trash, like the two puppies in the trash bags, they had they had mange. They just had your typical mange. All it would have took was three weeks worth of medicine once a week and they're good. They're more like property here than they are pets. That led me to hesitantly ask the question of where was Emmy found? Which is the entire basis and reason I started this project in the first place. I wanted to see where Emmy came from. Tombs County, hi! I think the band probably practices over here to the right. Okay. And that's probably where she was. But Holy if you God. notice, there's no real houses around here. So Somebody we, had to have dumped her. Yeah, nobody could figure out where she came from because there's nothing here. She was real sick too. They thought she had parvo. Yeah, and it turned out to be just serious case of worms. That said, she probably wouldn't have survived more than a few more days. Are you kidding me? Because it was yes, that bad. Because it was that bad. The good news is that Emmy was found and she made it through. There are so many dogs out there who still need help and there are so many ways that you can help. You can donate your time, you can donate your money, you can spend time at shelters and hang out with the dogs, and you can adopt. And please don't forget about my dear friend Carol King. She's still up for adoption and she's looking for her forever home. If you're at all interested in her, feel free to submit an application online for her at badassbk.com.